Hi everyone. So today I'd like to unbox or unwrap all these that I managed to buy from the malls here in the Philippines. So I went to uh, two different big malls. One is called the SM Mega Mall and another one is called the Shangri-La. That's also a hotel. And I went to a little shop somewhere in um, San Juan um, called Everything Calligraphy, which is also the Vinta Inks uh, shop. And so I'm just going to go ahead and unbox these or unwrap these so that we can all enjoy it together. Okay, so the first thing that I bought, I bought from National Bookstore and it is a, uh, it's post-its basically that are touted as fountain pen friendly. So these post-its are from the Delhi brand and I got this tip from a, uh, from one of the uh, members of a Facebook group that I belong to, the Fountain Pen Network of uh, Philippines. And uh, she tested this on her fountain pens and it turned out to be okay. So this apparently is fountain pen friendly. I'm gonna try that later. So I bought two colors for my traveler's notebook because they're quite the good size for it. I also went to Scribe and Mega Mall. This is a uh, fountain pen shop, stationery shop basically, that um, carries a lot of fountain pens and traveler's notebook um, paraphernalia. And so when I went there, I got a few items for my traveler's notebook. And so I managed to get the Traveler's Notebook lightweight paper from them. I wanna try this for my poetry. And I also got this clear folder, all right? And I really like this, um, this particular design from one of their previous year's themes because I really like reading. So I thought I would add this to my collection. This cost me 225 pesos. This one cost me um, 175 pesos. Um, I also went to the store in Shangri-La. This is like their sister's store. It's called Analog. And from there, I got another refill. Now, I don't have the standard size passports notebook, but I got this because I've been hearing a lot of good uh, reviews about this particular size and so based on a tip from Hannah um, in Jakarta she manages the things I love shop in Tokopedia she says this is a really good size and I should try it out by the way I made a mistake in my first traveler's um, notebook post it is not the same width it is a bit wider than the passport size and of course it is much longer all right, so I wanted to try that, but I also bought, not just that, but an ink. And this is the Urban Cacao do Brazil. Um, I'm thinking this is gonna be like a brown, very dark brown ink. It's supposed to have some sort of scent. So apparently this is a scented ink. And I wanted to try this with the cross pen that my father just gifted me with. It's a 25 plus year old pen that he owns and I'm trying to bring it to life and I think I wanna use this ink with it. Okay, so those are from the malls and now we're gonna open up what I got from Everything Calligraphy, okay? Or the Vinta store. So this is a lot of Vinta ink. So let's open it up. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is a freebie from them. They said that this works well with fountain pens. So thank you very much. Um, and oh, here they are. And I got some inks and you can see the box where it says, take a dip. All right. Um, and of course that uh, pertains to dipping your pen. So I got Lakbai from them. Okay, I hope this focuses on that. Okay, so I got Lakbai from them. I also got Bisperas which translates to Blue Vesper, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, I got quite a bit because I really want to feature Philippine uh, made products when it comes to fountain pens. This one is Carol, which is basically 
um, alluding to the Christmas carols that we do like singing here. So this is going to be a red ink. Okay, and then I also got, ah, the ubi. Because I like me some purple and I love ube. And so I thought I really wanted to have that in my collection. I also, hold up. I also got some, ha, huh, lachambini, which is a pink ink with some sort of a gold shimmer to it. And the dugung bughao. So dugung bughao means blue blood. And I really like how the sheen on this one comes out. So I'm a little excited about that. Let's see what else is here. Ah, uh, yes, I have one more ink, Sirena. It's a green ink, um, and I think it has some sort of uh, gold in it too. I'm not so sure. I do want to try that. And in the pack, they also gave oh, more freebies. I have this very pretty um, bookmark from Everything Calligraphy. Thank you again. They also gave me some chocolate. Ha, this is a favorite uh, snack uh, candy kind of thing. I like that. That's really delicious. And they gave me Vinta Damili sample. So this one was a sweet gift from them. And that's about everything that was in my bag. All right. And so this is my haul from yesterday's um, adventure. I'm quite excited. Seven new inks. Oops. Um, plus a sampler, so you could say it's eight. Um, and then one more from Urban. Okay, some chalk nut, a nice little uh, bookmark, some paper, actually a whole lot of paper from the bookstores. Okay, so that's about it. This is all I wanted to share. When I do try the inks, I'll be sharing it in another video. This is Kai from Kikai Craft. Um, if you can recommend other Philippine-made products for fountain pens and journaling, do let me know. I'd be very interested to have a look at them and really promote what's really great in the Philippines and also in Indonesia. Okay, I'll be seeing you in my next uh, videos. Do remember to subscribe if you're interested in these things. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to interact with you. Okay, do subscribe and like the video. Bye, everyone.